Hello! Short and sweet intro. Um, I'm very sorry for the quality of this video and how many locations I filmed in. It is currently a year later because it's a Christmas video and I didn't have anything ready until Christmas. So it would have been too late to post it and I wouldn't have edited it either. This is a video on how I got not only gifts under $5, but under $5 per person that I was gifting, which was six people, friends and family. So hopefully you'll get some ideas from this. And I got a couple of free things in this video. If you want to know how I got them, stay tuned till the end. Let's just get on with this. Okay, starting with my dad. These three items are from the Dollar Tree. I got him the Caroline Chocolate Hazelnut Cream Filled Wafers. Everyone would love these. They're so good. And then I got him a pack of Snickers, because he loves Snickers. And then I got him almond Snickers. All of these were a dollar. So like Ferrero Rocher's. So my brother, I think, got this for him, so. My brother paid for that. Ferrero Rocher's have coconut, regular, and then chocolate. And this is $3.50 for this. This is a really, really good chocolate idea gift for anybody that likes chocolate and can have chocolate. So, my father gave me these um, t-shirts that we made him when we were little. And they have stains on them and they're worn out. And um, some of them had holes. So, he gave us two. The first one we made into a pillow. It was the cutest thing ever. I'll do a video on that if you want to see it. But this one had stains everywhere because it was white. So we dyed it. That's that. That's his shirt. And it turned out really well. And I'm happy with the tie-dye. I already have tie-dye because I'm, I'm just a creative person. I have all these art supplies on hand. So for me, that was... Three dollars for my dad, and I have one more gift. The last thing is this. Full Star Ultimate Vegetable Slicer Set. So, it comes with this thing that chops the vegetables into slices. And then this one is a chopper. That one is a cheese grater. And then I, that one's a slicer or another slicer. And then it just, oh yeah, and that chops it again comes with that container and then that holds the thing in place when you're slicing and he cooks a lot so he loves to make us um hash browns in the morning so he grates them in the cheese grater so i figured this would be amazing for him and the best part is i got this for free and it's brand new see it's never been opened it's sealed I spent $3.50, $4.50 on my dad, plus tax. So $4.50, and I got him this for free. So, and I made him a gift. Sorry, I'm in a different location as I was before. Okay, first of all, I got this for her since she's a nurse and she doesn't have a thermometer right now. So I got her a new one. This is her favorite candy. And I love Butterfingers. Butterfingers are like the best things ever. So, this is a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So, good gift for anyone. And this says, number one, Diva Mom. Because my mother is a diva. Bad to say that, but she is a diva. And she loves coffee. Coffee's her favorite thing in the world. And it's got a cute design. So, got that. That was 75 cents. I used the app Free Prints. And I printed this off, and they sent it to me for free. I thought shipping was going to cost money, but it was actually free. So this was completely free, and it's just a it's just a picture. This is a picture of her cat, like on my bed. I don't know why. I just picked random pictures and printed them. So that's her cat Chewy. So that's gonna go in her stocking. Here's another one of those um, sets for chopping, slicing, dicing, whatever, everything, but it's a smaller one, so she gets this one, and then also 
two bags of Andy's Mountain Mint because she loves she loves these. And they were at the Dollar Tree for a dollar piece. And then this was twenty dollars, but my brother got it for her, so I'm just gonna include it. This is a robe. She loves it is so soft. I heard this M&M container. It's made of tin. I got this at the thrift store for 45 cents. Oh gosh. It's just like that. So that was 45 cents. I spent a total of 45 cents on her. Got her these chips from Pizza Corner, which is her favorite restaurant. And she loves these chips. These were free with a pizza that I bought because I'd sell them, put it on the side so then I can save the chips because I don't really like the chips. So she loves these. So this was, she was, she's, this was her favorite present. She said, this was the best present I've ever gotten. And it was free. Last, she really loved this one. This says, hashtag Dean, Dean girl, supernatural, join the hunt. And it's got the back of it. Is it her favorite color? This used to be a tank top. I got it for $1 at the um goodwill and she bought the tank top i said if you buy that tank top can you i'll make it into a pillow i don't promise so then i made it into a neck pillow and she loves it so that was literally free because she bought the tank top for my friend becky rebecca i already wrapped her present in this pretty little pretty little thing and i forgot to get it on camera so um, I'm not going to take it out. This is a tank top that I got at the thrift store. It was brand new. It had the tags on it. It said it was worth $10. And I got it for $1. So thrift shopping is a good thing to do if you are short on money for Christmas. Three headbands because she likes headbands. So hopefully she likes this. But they're really cute. And that was only $2.50, so her gift is up to $3.50 with tax and everything. These headbands were $2.50 in the clearance section at Walmart. So you go to the clearance section, you can probably find gifts for a lot of people, and it saves a lot of money. So definitely recommend that because you get a brand new gift for someone for like a dollar or two or three. I also got her this wallet. It's just her favorite color is pink, but she also kind of likes blue, so I figured she would like this. I got this at the thrift store. It's in really good condition. And it was $1.50, so that brings her total up to exactly $5. So there was a $5 gift for my friend. I'm very proud. For my brother, I got him this water bottle at the thrift store. It says, judge me by my size, do you? And it's a Yoda water bottle, because he likes Star Wars. And that was one dollar even. I got one of these for me and one for my brother, because we both love them. This was a dollar fifty, I think. I made him this, because he's obsessed with this. And I made a video on how I made this. I paid three dollars for this last year. It was a mango first. But I got my use out of it first. I'm just going to consider it as free. And I already had the puffy paint. So this was basically free for me. His total for his gifts was $2.50. I got him one of these too. That was a dollar. So that's $3.50. And then I also got him a Takis because he loves Takis. I'm pretty sure it was $2. And now, now for my dad's girlfriend, Rose. We got her one of these, which I got for a lot of people. I got her this at the Dollar Tree. She loves puzzles, so that was a dollar. This at the Dollar Tree, it's vanilla lotion. It smells really, really good, and I'm surprised it was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So that's three dollars for her. An almond mini Snickers, that was a dollar, I'm pretty sure. So that was four dollars in this Snickers. For a dollar, so that's five dollars. We got this at the thrift store for him, actually. I mean, I bought everything, but we're considering some of it is his because he doesn't do anything. This is a puzzle carrier. This was four dollars at the thrift store. Actually, it might have been on sale, might have been two dollars. I can't remember. But, anyways, you roll this up 
and you keep your puzzle and I'm pretty sure it was brand new. I had this frame from before. I think I got it at the thrift store probably for under 50 cents a long time ago. So I drew her cat. There's the drawing. Oh, it's bright. <laughs> so that was her gift, her main gift from me. And that was free. If you have any artistic skills, anyone, anybody love drawings or art or anything that you do. Just to recap, here are the categories of the ways I save money. First of all is product tests. That's how I got the free things, the two vegetable choppers and the thermometer. I don't think I'm allowed to say who I product test for or how I do that directly to a camera. If you want to know, comment down below and I will contact you. The next one is candy at the Dollar Tree and Walmart. You can get cheap candy at Walmart too, like the Ferrero Rochers. They were $3.50. And you can get, obviously, cheap candy at the Dollar Tree. There's usually less packages, but altogether it's cheaper and you still get a gift for someone. You can always make someone a gift, whether it be brand new. You can always think of something brand new to make. Or with something that is old and you can refurbish it. Next is thrift stores. Thrift stores have a lot of things in there that are new with tags and everything. So that's perfect for gifts. Or if it's not new, then clean it up really good. If you're gonna give them clothes, wash it before. You're bound to find something new for someone or something used that you can clean up. You just gotta put your thrifting pants on and look hard. <laughs> the next thing is the app free prints there's a few others out there too you can get their favorite picture or a picture of you or a picture that they would like you could just give them the print or you could frame it you can always get them their favorite food like my friend's chips that she loves everyone loves their favorite food if you know their favorite food get it for them just nice to throw in and then it makes their day another idea is you can make them a coupon book you can put activities to do in the coupon book or things you would do for them like a back rub. Who wouldn't want you to make them supper? That would be a perfect gift. You can always make a pillow. What I've learned is you can make a pillow out of almost anything at all. If you see a cool print on a pants, you can turn it into a long pillow. If you see a cool like logo on a shirt, you can put that on a pillow. In that regards, you don't need it to be their size. You can get stuffing at thrift stores and you can get stuffing in bulk. You can even buy pillow inserts. Next, you can go to Walmart clearance and there's this YouTuber, Super Unsexy, where he shows you how to get things on hidden clearance. He found a ton of Duck Dynasty video games and he got them for three cents a piece. It's real, like I've tried it. So it's always nice to check on the Walmart app. The next thing I have is the squishy. I have it right here. And this is a squishy potato, if you didn't know. I ended up poking some more holes in it so it squished faster and rose faster. He didn't want me to put a face on it, so I didn't do it. If you want a durable one, use puffy paint and you can do whatever you want with it and make it into what you want. Even if you aren't an artist, homemade gifts are still great because it means that you took your time to make that gift and that's what matters. Would you rather have something to remember your family member by or just another object that you can by yourself. Ask tons of people what their favorite gift was or what's the most memorable gift that you've ever gotten. It will be something homemade. And lastly, I want you to know that just because a gift is cheap does not mean it does not have the same value. So if you want more rambling talks like this or my opinion on things creative or really my opinion on anything, which I have lots of opinions and they're very strong, comment down below what you actually want to see and I'll try to create it. If you want to know more about saving money and being thrifty, I have tons of ideas for this channel. I could probably come up with 12 channels on all my different interests and subjects, but I'm just gonna throw them all together and make it me. Like and comment, tell me what you would want to see and subscribe. That'll be all, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you tons of ideas for Christmas. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, 
honestly, tell me down below. Okay, bye, guys.